I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about depression and the holidays. Yes, I don't want to sound like the Grinch, but I want to put forth warnings of things that can get you upset. Depression and the holidays with a breakup? Horrible. Awful. A breakup around this time is awful. And if you had a breakup during this year, you will of course think of the person you broke up with at Christmas time mm -hmm. and wonder how him or her is doing. It's absolutely one of the most painful times right. to go through a breakup because Absolutely. when you're going through it probably the biggest thing you're thinking is are they going to reach out for Christmas? Right. Should I reach out for Christmas? Should I reach out for Christmas? Which we already covered in a video. Yes. Um, but are they going to reach out to me? And honestly Margaret I remember going through two breakups or, or at least two off the top of my head around that time. Right. And the only thing I cared about was hearing them for Christmas. Right. That's all you care about. Was hearing from them for Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You don't care about gifts. You don't care about getting this or going there. The only thing you care about and the only thing you want to do is look at your phone all day long and hope that they contact you. Right. And sometimes they do. And sometimes they do. And sometimes they don't. Yeah. Because they're not ready yet. And relationships are not easy and at Christmas nothing is easy. Um, the, the thing that gets most people is that if you're not happy and everybody else is and kind of the expectation of society is that everyone will be happy, then if you're not, it's just awful. Yes, and you see it everywhere. Oh, everywhere. They're dancing at Target, in case you haven't noticed. They're the prices all, aren't that low, Margaret. No, they're not. They're all <laughs> dancing around the store. Um, there are numerous happy families enjoying a wonderful dinner together. I mean, commercials one uh, after the next. Yeah. You see, you're bombarded, bombarded with everybody being happy in their family and relationship, right. and you're thinking, I am literally without the one person I want to be with. Right. Really Not tough. easy. So I just thought I'd kind of quickly run through some of the normal stressors that you run into before we get into anything more complicated. Yeah. Um, there's all kinds of pressure to get everything done on time, right? Yeah. You have to mail things by this time. If you didn't make it by Cyber Monday, Lord knows what's going to happen. And when you're feeling depressed, right. it's even harder to get those things done. You Absolutely. can't muster up the energy to you go. You don't have the energy, right. There's always financial pressure. Uh, very few people have lots of Christmas money stashed anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then you have guilt about buying gifts or what gifts you can buy. And if you have children, that can be extremely difficult. Yeah, when buying your ex a gift. Everybody thinks everybody about what should I get them? If I just get them this one thing, will they forgive me? Will they talk to me? Right. There's tremendous guilt behind that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, I did, actually didn't think about it until recently, but I had bought gifts for my ex's daughter. Mm. Right, I remember that. And um, I actually had forgotten about that. And when I was thinking about that recently, I was like, oh yeah, I did. You had I, bought gifts at the, before the breakup. Oh, how sad. Yeah. And so I did wind up giving to her the gifts and wound up talking to her on the phone about that. I actually didn't even think about that till recently. Recently, yeah. And um, it brought up a lot for me, but, you know... Ultimately, I wanted her daughter to have the gifts because I absolutely adored the her. Child. But yeah. not seeing her was so painful, and then talking to her about the gifts mm -hmm. was so painful. Um, but it didn't do, like, ultimately, it doesn't get you back together. No. I may have had the conversation with her, right. but it didn't really no, help. It didn't fix anything. No. No. And um, it wasn't until it fell apart with the other guy that she was dating that she really had reached out to me, but I was, you know, didn't understand all this stuff back then. Right. But it's spurred you on to your now brilliant understanding of all this. Oh, well, I made all the mistakes, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's, that's how we learn. You do all the mistakes, and that's why I teach you guys what I do, because you don't have we to don't, make those mistakes. We don't want you to go through all this. Oh, and it's so frustrating for me, because sometimes I 
do a Skype with you and literally I had a guy, I did a Skype with on Monday, we had a nice plan in place, everything was good. The next day, literally, I think, what's, what day is today? Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Talks to her, went against everything that we talked about. Oh, Lord. So now we're going to do another Skype yeah. to discuss it. But, you know, it's so much more compound, that pressure yes. and loneliness during the holiday season. Oh, yes, yes. And, of course, you always think of your family of origin because we all grew up with holidays that were handled one way or another. If they were good, that's nice, but then we compare ourselves against them. If it was bad, then we're careful not to repeat them, but it comes up. So yeah. all kinds of things come up for us at the holidays. Yeah. Um, while we're trying to run around and take care of all sorts of things, kids are home from school and excited, you're hearing from all of your relatives whether you like them or not. Um, you're being invited to parties you may or may not want to go to. Um, you're, you're listening to friends and family talk about getting other people gifts, talking yes. about what they're going to do with these holiday parties right. or plans or right. all those events coming up and the movies right. on TV. It's just never ending and it only compounds the depression. What's the TV channel that has non-stop Christmas movies? The Hallmark? Is that The it? Hallmark channel. I don't even watch TV. You can watch <laughs> non-stop Christmas movies for a long time before Christmas. And again, they all have a happy ending, and not everybody's life matches that. Yeah. Um, don't overspend, which is very easy to do. Um, don't put yourself in debt for Christmas. Yeah. Take normal care of yourself and keep to your schedule. Particularly if you're depressed, that's important. Yeah. Plan ahead what to say to difficult relatives. We all know who they are. Oh, and they'll be asking you, where's so-and-so? Yeah, where's your, yeah, how come you're not married yet? Uh, I'd love to have one. another niece or nephew. Yeah. That's the last thing you're going to want to hear is, yes. where's so-and-so? Right. Uh, oh, you broke, oh, you broke up, I didn't know. I didn't know, just what you need to hear. Yeah. What happened? Right. Now you got to tell the entire story to yeah. the whole family. Right, which you didn't, and you don't have to do it. You can just answer very briefly. What would you say? Well, things happen. You know, we'd been talking about it for a while and decided that we would be better off going our own way. And that's all you know, and that's all you need to know. Or something vague where yeah. you're just saying, you know, it's been kind of tough, so I'm not really ready yeah. to talk about that right well, now. That would be a great answer. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to enjoy the day, and I don't want to talk about so-and-so. Yeah, yeah. But thank you for asking. I'm just going to go run to the bathroom crying now. Yeah. But always thank you for asking if you want to get out of it gracefully. Yeah. Because um, they don't mean to hurt your feelings. No, of course not. Well, maybe some of them do. Maybe some of them do. Well, that is unfortunately the reality. And those are the ones you really have to think about how to answer. Um, sometimes remember it's difficult for the elderly who may be alone and, you know, dealing with all the ghosts of Christmas has passed. Mm -hmm. So auntie or grandma or grandpa might not be in the happiest of moods. Um, and as we said before, breakups are extremely difficult at this time. Oh, yes, so absolutely. these are just kind of a short list of tips to keep in mind so you don't knock yourself out over Christmas. And for things that are not that important for more than a day or two. Yeah. Yeah. But depression and the holidays is very common. Oh, yes, it is. And not just for if you're going through a breakup, but a lot of people feel depressed during, during the holidays, the holidays yes. because it brings up, you know, last year when you were with your ex, Yes. what did you do? Right. Where were you at? What did they give you? What did you give them? Oh, remembering that day, you're reliving it. You're just right. wanting to be in that past, wanting to be there with them again. It's perfectly normal. Absolutely normal. So there's nothing wrong. And it's very difficult when how you feel inside does not match what's going on around you anytime. And um, so it's very, very stressful. Um, any other tips or pointers you can think of some, for somebody that's going through this where they're at, you know, a holiday party and they're feeling well, number depressed? Number one, you're not crazy and you're not alone. There are many people who don't feel very happy then either. So, because some people will beat themselves up and say, so what's wrong with me? Everybody else is happy. Why can't I be happy? Yeah. How you feel is neither right or wrong. It just is. Mm -hmm. We all have a right to our feelings, whether they're reflected outside of us or not. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So you have every right to feel the way you, you feel. And you don't have to look like you're wildly happy. You can be pleasant, you can attend the party, but you don't have to sing jolly songs. Mm -hmm. It won't be necessary. And the other thing that I really wanted to say too is that um, even if your ex doesn't reach out to you for Christmas, it doesn't mean you won't get back together. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Christmas, is, the holidays are not the be and end all of everything. That's right. right. And so just because they don't reach out for Christmas or New Year's, because some of you guys will get a reach out, some of you won't, it doesn't mean you won't get another chance no, with them. No, it doesn't. So don't think that at all. Um, and it doesn't mean they didn't think about you too, because chances are... Oh, chances are they did. They are thinking about you too. They are missing you too. And they are revisiting what it was like for their Christmas with you last year too. Well, Even what, if it, what it would be like if you, if you haven't been together for a year, what you've thought about maybe it would be like. E so e it's all there. Yeah, even if they're dating somebody new, yeah. it doesn't mean they don't think about you. No, it doesn't. And we've, uh, we've answered that question several times because people often ask, does our ex think about us? Mm -hmm. And our answer is yes. They do. Yes. They do think about you. Yeah. Um, it may not be the obsessive, intrusive thoughts that you're having, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean they don't think about you no, or miss you on those special days too. No, it doesn't. So, even if you're depressed during the holidays and you're feeling like, you know, things aren't going to get better, you're not going to get back with your ex, you haven't heard, him for, heard from him on Christmas, it doesn't mean that things can't turn around. Okay? That's true. Don't necessarily assume that because they don't reach out during Christmas or New Year's that it's over and you won't hear from them again. Good point. Okay? Oh. You know, we are here for you and Absolutely. we understand what you're going through yes. and we hope that you have as good a holiday as you can possibly have even though things aren't the way you want them to be right now. And you deserve it. Absolutely. Okay, one day at a time, sometimes 15 minutes at a time. So, if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching, I do Skype coaching, you got to get with me right away, I do emergency Skype coaching, and look for Margaret on the website because she will be able to do Skype coaching with her soon. I'm looking forward to it. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.